Greetings, Nimrods. Well, I finally pulled the trigger and got myself a bandsaw mill. Obviously, this is something that I've been wanting for a long time. Um, so this cut here is actually the second cut made with it. Um, we didn't didn't film the first cut, but uh, we're filming this one. And uh, right out of the box, this thing uh, worked pretty well. Um, out of the box, I should say, we did a lot of assembly on this. Uh, three or four afternoons after work type of deals a few time, a few hours at a time and maybe you know five or six hours on a weekend. So it, it does take a little bit of time to put the track together and get it all leveled. You'll see that it's on a couple big beams there that I actually used a chainsaw mill to make years ago. And uh, there's actually concrete piers below there that they're not really deep into the soil, but they uh, get down on the, the hard soil as it were so this this thing is pretty darn stable the way I've got this set up um, leveled it spent a lot of time just getting absolutely perfectly leveled then assembled the whole thing um, heaving it up on the uh, tracks was a little bit of fun since I, I do not have a, any equipment to do that just me and the boy um, so there there's a end of our second cut um, a couple things I'll note about this I'm going really slow uh, partly just because we're starting out with this, partly because uh, the first 30 minutes you run this thing, you're not supposed to run the uh, blade lubrication, which is that tube going down there. Uh, it has soapy water in it, and um, they ask you not to run it for the first 30 minutes of operation so that the belts can wear in properly. Um, so we did that. We did in the first 30 minutes. We ran it dry and it, and it definitely makes a difference once you start using the lubrication you can cut a little bit faster. Uh, another thing about this particular saw is I did not get the high horsepower option. I, I've got the smaller engine this it comes with either seven and a half or a nine horsepower and I got the seven and a half. Frog's gonna have a go at it here. Um, and they basically told me that the main difference is that you know it it, uh, it just cuts faster with a bigger horsepower. You can cut just about anything you can cut with the other one. Uh, it just takes a little more time. Um, speaking of taking time, these kids, they just do everything faster. So, frogs just plowing through that log. So, uh, the other reason I got the smaller horsepower is because I, um, I plan to move this uh, to the camp in Maine someday. Uh, back and forth, you know, maybe bring, bring it up for a couple of weeks, build a track assembly, a separate track assembly up there, and figure out a way to get this on and off the truck. That'll be the fun part. So uh, that first log was ash, um, and we decided, well, we better, while we're running it, and in the break-in period, let's run some nice soft wood. So this is uh, eastern red cedar or juniper, um, aromatic red cedar, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is pretty... It's not soft as pine, but it's a soft wood. Uh, there is a video of me using a chainsaw mill on this. And uh, I'll tell you what, I don't think I'll ever use a chainsaw mill again. And if I do, it'll only be because uh, I need to bring the saw or the mill to the wood. Uh, this thing is so much easier to operate. Um, it is a little bit faster in the cut, not a whole lot faster. Um, Definitely faster, but not not crazy amount faster. But what's faster is set up, you know, with between cuts. Just I mean, you can just slide this back and crank down the handle, you know, on the graduated scale on it, and just push it through again. You know, literally two minutes you're back into the wood. So uh, it definitely takes less time to uh, make your second cut to get into your second cuts. So there's a whole lot less fussing and then your initial cut is just a lot lot quicker to set up um, you know, you, so a little, little bit blurry there and I think the, uh, the camera doesn't like it when the wood chips are getting thrown back and tries to focus on them so hopefully that's not making anybody car sick uh, one thing we did want to try to see how thin we could cut that's about a half an inch there we did cut one at 3 16 and it was pretty consistent uh, it says you can cut down to an eighth inch and I believe it um, it, it doesn't have a lot of run out. This thing cuts really nicely. All right, so now we're out of the break-in period here, and we've got the water running through it. Um, don't worry, we're going to cut this up, so you're not going to 
meaning we're going to cut the video up, so we're not going to do this continuous. But uh, I decided this this ash log is a bigger ash log. We're uh, going to cut all four sides on it instead of having a live edge. So there's finishing up the first side. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy I bought this thing. It really, really is impressive. I mean, there was no, no fussing uh, once once I got the thing set up, and I went through the instruction manual, obviously, and I, I did everything to a T. I didn't jump ahead. There's a lot of adjustments and stuff you have to double check and make sure it's all all the guides are correct. And I did that, and and I didn't have a single problem. It really, really, really worked well. Um, roll that log over, and I'm cutting uh, these ash logs in the pretty thick slabs for a reason. Uh, we did cut the uh, the cedar into a bunch of thin slabs, but these ash ones, I've got a reason I'm cutting them into inch and three quarter inch slabs. And someday you may find out, uh, but I'm not going to tell you. So we don't have less than an hour of use on this thing and made a, a fairly decent pile of wood. And uh, considering especially the, that uh, cedar there, we did little thin ones. There's a lot of cuts there. So I'm sure we'll do a future video on the Woodland Mills HM122 bandsaw mill um, but right now we're really liking it the first impressions are this thing is great so uh, give it a big thumbs up and uh, share this with your friends and subscribe because Nimrod wants you happy hunting Nimrods